I mean, does it shock you that it was released sort of right around our meeting time? No. Um, did it affect our meeting? No. Um, did Listen, Phil, as I've said, is, has been an unbelievable player. He's done unbelievable things in this game of golf. He's been an ambassador for this game of golf for a while. I have tremendous respect for what he's done. But unfortunately, these last 48, no, it's longer than that now, a week, week and a half, you know, it hasn't been so great for him. Obviously, I've said my comments, and I think some of the stuff he said is um, sort of idiotic, his comments were. Um, I think uh, I've said they were lies and they were false statements. Um, but same time, I do feel bad for him because you never want to – I mean, I have no ill will toward the guy. He's been great. I mean, he's been nice to me. He's been unbelievable to me. I mean, I think a lot of players can say that he's been an unbelievable – um, person to talk to and always, uh, always open and willing to chat. Um, but it's tough to see a guy like that who's been on a pedestal, who's been, you know, a leader in this game of golf for so long, go through what he's going. And just like all of us, when we make mistakes, it's a lot of us. It's it's a lot of our own faults that we we put ourselves in a situation like this. And and unfortunately, he did. And you know, it's you know, it's tough to see. The only thing I can say about, about, you know, about his comments is he never mentioned the PJ Tour. He never said anything, apologized to the PJ Tour for anything. So, um, you know, he apologized to the players, the sponsors, his fans and everything, but nothing to the PJ Tour. So to me, as a tour player, as a member of this tour, obviously I'm, I've been a, I'm a pro tour guy. I love the tour. I've said it for many years. I have great relationships with the people at the PJ Tour, many, many employees. It sort of stings a little bit that there's nothing mentioned towards the PJ Tour, in my opinion. Does it seem like he's kind of on an island at this point? Is how those conversations have gone with the SGL PGA Tour? Seems like the SGL is kind of on its last legs. I think he's on an island. I, but the, like I said, I mean, there's there's rumors that there was 20 guys that were committed, and but we don't know many of those guys. Um, maybe some do, but we're not. People aren't going to say names. Um, but do I think SGL is on its last leg? Listen, I don't know. They have a lot of money. It depends on how how um, you know how determined they are to make something like this happen. How determined are they to be in the game of golf for you know sports washing? Is from what people have said. You know, I, I I'm not going to use that term, but that's what people have said. So I don't know, um, but I do know. This isn't our last uh, possible competitor to the PJ Tour. Um, there's going to always be people coming, coming up with ideas. And I, I don't think that's going away anytime soon. It's always going to be there. But um, as the tour has reinstated, as a lot of the the best players in the world have said, have said, we're playing the best tour in the world, and they are doing an unbelievable job for us. And and we appreciate them greatly um, for everything they have done um, over the last. You know, since the inception of the PJ Tour, but at the same time, you got to thank the players who've been a part of that, who've made that, and, and that's Tiger and Phil. Tiger and Phil, and, and obviously there's other guys, Ernie Els, VJ, David Duvall, there's a lot of top players who've made the PJ Tour what it is today over the last 20 years. And so when you thank the PJ Tour, you have to thank them because without them, I, the PJ Tour wouldn't be able to have been as successful in the negotiation when it comes to the financial part of it. Yeah, I mean, I skimmed it over, but... Um... And I'm happy with the PGA Tour. I think everybody out here is happy. And um, he can think whatever he wants to think, man. He can do whatever he wants to do. So I think everybody out here is happy. And I think um, a lot of people out here have the same opinion. I honestly don't know what he said. I haven't. I don't follow really much of what's going on. So I, I, I wouldn't be able to comment to really make any sense, to be honest. Tom, just and I'll follow up on that. If you, mm -hmm. just your, sure. since this whole thing came out and players, a lot of players getting behind the tour now. Can you just give your stance on that? Yeah, I've always been behind the tour. I think uh, Commissioner Monahan is the right guy for the job. I think he's done an amazing, amazing job through COVID. Something that probably was a little people didn't give him enough credit for what he was able to do in, in such challenging times and. Uh, there's no one I would trust more to guide the tour through all of these difficult times. And I think he's done a great job. And um, I like where the tour is headed. I like um, the new initiatives that have been brought out. And 
I, do, I honestly I don't know much about the whole Phil Saudi thing. I, I don't try try not to pay attention to it. I just think it's just kind of like noise. But um, my experience with Phil in the past has been good experiences, and I think um, everyone deserves a second chance. So if he's sincerely uh, sorry for what he said, then I think you know he deserves a second chance. Yeah, I read it. I got here so early this morning. I didn't really see anybody. It's you know teed off at seven something. But uh, yeah, I mean you know Phil. Uh, I don't know if it was on purpose, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't really. Uh, um, not going to comment on on Phil, but uh, he's you know he's a smart guy. I don't think it was by accident. I can't understand Phil's career and the inner workings of Phil and his business. Clearly, my business is a fraction the size of his, so his concerns are, are tough for me to truly wrap my, my, my mind around. But I can say from what I've seen from the inner workings of the business side of our tour that there has been nothing but praises sung from what I've seen from our top executives. And uh, I'm proud of them. I'm proud to have them. And I'm thankful to have them, to be honest. I'm thankful that we have a retirement program we have. I'm thankful that we have beautiful places to play like like this and the shape that they are. As someone who spent six years dead broke on the mini tours, I know what it's like to be on the other side of that. So that was never something I've forgotten. And so, uh, you know, like I said, it's he's entitled to his decision. That's what makes our country great. But I just disagree with it. We all deserve grace and, uh, you know, we all deserve, uh, you know, compassion and it's not uh, our job to judge others. And um, I've known Phil a long time. He's been great to me since I first came on the PGA Tour. And, you know, Phil uh, Phil's a Hall of Famer and uh, has so many fans around the world. And um, listen, we all we all make mistakes in life and we all do things we probably regret. And uh, I hope uh, I hope he comes out from it better. And I hope he's uh, back on the golf course soon. Obviously, it came out during the meeting. You see players scrambling on their phones and uh, I read it um, look all I can say is I don't want to say much about it I, I think you know Phil has been an absolute legend of the game um, he's been there done that done it all and, and he's been great for golf and you know I kind of yeah I, I don't really have much to say other than that because um, you know I'm sure he's in a bit of a tough situation right now and uh, you know hopefully he comes through at the other side and you know, who knows, we see him back out here soon enough. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all I really have to say.